Okay, so it's that time of the day, time of the week when I check in, give a status report, report from the front. And uh, I've had this great success with not eating wheat, and I just checked. I began my last juice fast on the 7th of September. Today's the 3rd. So it's been almost a month since I ate wheat. And I remember the day before I started my juice fast in September, my nose was completely congested. I was sniffing. All I could do was just keep the phlegm under control. Okay, so I did the juice fast for 10 days, and then I had the realization about the wheat, and I didn't eat wheat after that, so it's been almost a month. And one of the things I find myself doing lately is I just will breathe. I'll be anywhere, sitting in meditation or outside or, you know, sitting in my chair or in my bed at night. And I'll just realize how beautiful it is to be able to breathe. This is massive. <clears throat> Yes, I'm drinking water, and um, wow, and I attribute it to paying attention, to investigating, to journaling, to, you know, juice fasting, thank goodness to Joe Cross, to really take juice fasting up to the, up another level, and, you know, all the encouragement he does, all the great uh, promotional material he has, and information. And all the other people have been doing it online, all the YouTubers I watched while I was, you know, doing my juice fasts. <laughs> and I'm tomorrow, I'm going to be beginning another juice fast. It was on my calendar, my higher mind, my overall, you know, analysis self said, yes, this would be the good time to do it. And so I'm scheduled for the 4th, which is tomorrow, 4th of October, for seven days. And, um... I've really been enjoying eating. So I've been eating for 17, uh, 17, 16, for 20 days, almost three weeks, and I've totally enjoyed it. No wheat, and I'm, you know, eating meals with rice and cheese and fake bacon, fake sausage, and carrot, sweet potato soup, and green beans, and cauliflower, and Oh, great. And um, snack food, my quote unquote healthy snack food, which is not that healthy. I, I got into the low something popcorn, light, I don't know, skinny pop. Oh, that's good. All my snacks are good. But, um, you know, that's all going to come to an end tomorrow, you know, and uh, it's for my own good because I weighed in at 125 today and, and at the end of the... Um, I did break 120 at one point, and I and I topped out in this, you know, last segment. It was 131, so you know I lost six pounds, which is good. But I'm headed on the ups upside, and I'm a little too much into food, 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 taste, taste, taste. And what am I going to eat? So I'm going to go on the juice fast. And the beauty part about the juicing is that if you do it right, after about three days. If you stick with it through the rough part, because it is rough getting off of food, you know, um, and that's just a habit thing, and you know, all the chemistry of your body is asking for food. <laughs> Ignore that, and you do go into you know a natural mechanism that we all have. I'm going to say we all have it. I think we all have it, where. As the body realizes that it's not getting anything to eat, it goes into, it stops being hungry, and you start getting a feeling of really profound well-being, heightened senses, heightened alertness. And I think, you know, from what I read, and it makes sense that this is the body's um, and the being's way of, you know, when there is no food, allowing you to not be distracted by your hunger and to have um, feel good so you can go out and find some food you know because in this case I'll be juicing I will be getting nutrition it's it's not a real starvation situation but the body's used to it we're all used to it through our evolution or our you know history and um, so that once that kicks in you're good to go and then it's all about juicing
And the other beauty part is yesterday I was walking over to pick up my car for an oil change and uh, from getting an oil change. And I saw a sign in front of the uh, local art center, a real colorful sign. And there had been people earlier in the day going to some kind of meeting. And I was actually curious to see if the sign about what that meeting was about, because they seemed pretty intense. And it was a farmer type of people. And who knows what it was all about. <laughs> but um, it wasn't that. It was a sign that said that there was a juice bar inside the art center that was open from 12 to 5. And they had had one before. I think this is under a different ownership because the I think the name is different. And I'll tell you, I give anybody credit for continuing with the juice bar in this town because we don't have a lot of people, about 10,000 people, and it's, it's hard to maintain any business. I don't know how many people are juicing in the town, apparently enough to keep this guy in business. And I decided for the next seven days, sometime between, I think it was noon and five, Sometime in the afternoon, probably late afternoon, I will walk or drive over there and I will buy a prepared juice. And this is, I think it's a great thing because one of the things I experienced last time was, you know, just all the repetition of the cleanup, preparation, uh, fruit flies, which I'm, you know, going to go over to Walmart and get another couple of little fruit fly traps because mine are kind of, I knocked them over a couple times and they're not as strong as they were, but they do work. Get some new ones, um, keep those fruit flies under control and uh, just help get the juice bar, help them in business. And, you know, it probably won't be much more than it would be if I juiced at home, a little more, <laughs> it's worth it. And, uh, you know, they'll probably have a variety of juice that I don't do at home. And uh, just for seven days, I'll just go out and buy a juice, which will be cool. The other thing is that Gary gave me a big bag of fresh tomatoes. I think he probably has more for my tomato juice in the afternoon so that my tomato juice will be scrum delicious. Usually I use the Roma tomatoes from Walmart, which are not real juicy. And these are going to be really juicy. He said, oh, these aren't good. They're too ripe. They're bursting at the seams. That's perfect for juicing. So I have free tomatoes and also Gary's apple trees are in and uh, the other thing I do is use apples in my carrot, ginger, lemon, uh, apple juice. So I have two free, uh, organic, locally sourced, <laughs> cook with love, grown with love, um, sources for my juice. So that's great. So that's budget right there. And the other, what's the other thing? Well, that's it. I got my tomatoes. I got my, you know, I just have to get carrots. And the, and the good thing is I, I juice usually three times a day, maybe twice, generally three times. And is this going to take a third of my work away, which is really good. In fact, I could even buy two juices from him if I didn't want to juice at night. If I saw a nice, you know, variety there I wanted to, you know, participate in. So this is even better than the cold pressed juice they have at Walmart that I keep on hand, you know, when I don't want to juice myself. I probably will buy a green juice, a big, tall green juice. Because, you know, greens, you know, they're hard to press. Anyway, my juicer doesn't do a good job. I have to get, or get my other juicer out. It's hard to clean. Yeah, anyway. So that's it for that. I wrote notes about what I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm, let's see. So starting juice fast, chronically, yeah. Anyway, that's about it. Yeah, I'm really into food right now. I'm loving it so much. I'm also loving breathing. I'm enjoying drinking my water. Which I never thought that would happen. So, um, you know, change is good. And uh, when it's change that you always wanted to do, you knew it would be good for you, and you finally are able to do it. That That's good. That's good change. So, I will chronicle I will attempt to chronicle every day, you know, starting tomorrow for seven days, you know, day one, blah, day 10, day three. But it, the, the chronicling actually helps me because when I chronicle it, it, it makes it more real for me. I feel more committed. I'm more inclined to actually do it, to not cheat because, you know, being a relatively honest person, I feel compelled to repeat, to report if I cheat and to be honest about it. Because I think honesty is the best policy, mostly. And um, so that's it for today. I just wanted to do a, 
a prep video for the beginning of tomorrow's Juice Fast.